Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. Well, not really a pleasant good evening, but evening, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is a recap to the Eagles' loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Our Eagles, of course, lost 28 to 22. They showed some fight in the end to get away from the, to get rid of the positives at the beginning. The very few of them, they showed some fight in the end via two rushing touchdowns yet again by J- Jalen Hurts. This time, it did not lead to an Eagles win battle back in the second half. Like it did against the Carolina Panthers, it led to just losing by six points rather than getting blown out, having that ability to just kind of battle when the passing game blows and really can't generate anything to just kind of find a will and a way to keep it close. Jalen Hurts was able to do last week. He was able to do that to get the win. This week he was able to do it to keep it close. Plus, Quez Watkins played pretty well. And um, obviously, Anthony Harris was able to step up with that one pick. But other than that, there ain't really many positives to get to. Like I said, in the first half of this ball game, the Eagles are just too simplistic on offensive play calling. Jalen Hurts is able to figure it out running again and figuring it out himself. But you, as a coach, need to be able to be better at the play call. We did mix in some more runs up the middle in the second half that made everybody holly and jolly. You saw everybody cheering in the stadium. Do that more as the season continues to go on. We need to see that more from the Eagles. Otherwise, this offense is just going to stay flat, stay boring, and stage is kind of stalled, like it's been all season for the most part, other than obviously in that Atlanta Falcons game, but they suck. So, um, I think you just need to play better here. You had, obviously in the end, because of the second half, you had um, 16 first downs to 27, so that looks all right on the stat sheet, but we know from eyesight watching in this game, the only reason you were able to get those was because Jalen Hurts was able to run a little bit, and you finally called some runs up the middle. And right now, you can't just keep relying on Hurts being able to get two rushing touchdowns in the second half of each game to keep it close and just kind of figure out a way around sucking at calling the passing game and sucking at calling the rushing game for the most part when it comes to scheming it as a coach. You can't rely on that. So you need to have more out of Sirianni, and you also need to have more out of Hurts. I can't excuse Hurts here. He wasn't a good passer in this game either. He missed some gut balls that you could have just floated. He was bad on deep passes a couple times as well. So you need to be a better passer overall on Jalen Hurts. I'm just giving him credit for figuring out a way, in some damn way, to even keep this close when the Eagles probably, in all hindsight, could have easily got blown out in this game as well because they almost had 400 passing yards there, and they had 102 rushing yards. The Eagles were able to get 100 rushing yards due to Hurts and Sanders combined. So if you're able to find a way to have Sanders run like he did on those a couple runs up the middle and just do that more consistently if you're Nick Sirianni, that will help as weeks come because obviously our Eagles don't have a bye until December. So they have to keep playing for a while and keep churning and figure this crap out. So obviously the team high... Um, one of the better guys when it came to receiving that actually showed up today. If your name was not Quiz Watkins, Zach Ertz uh, actually looks fairly solid out there. But this team just didn't look solid as a whole today. They still came out flat in the first half. Their first half was absolutely abysmal. I did my first half reaction. If you want to go back and watch that, I'll also link it at the end of this video. They were absolutely abysmal in the first half. Couldn't get any first downs other than that drive that Quiz Watkins made a night deflection catch, and then Jalen Reger, of course, drew the pass interference. So, I mean, the Eagles were very stalled again on offense. In the second half, Jalen Hurts again figured out a way to get the two rushing touchdowns, get them down the field. A couple of times when there was a will, there was a way. They were able to mix in the running plays on the drives to get it going when Nick Sirianni wasn't a doofus as much and actually mixed in the run because so far I'm not so impressed with Nick Sirianni whatsoever. He needs to get going too. He needs to stop doing everything out of the shotgun. This is not like shotgun frenzy here. Do some things also in different formations. Mix it up. Run up the middle. It actually freaking worked tonight when you did it a couple times. So mix it in and do it more. And also run some different plays. You're running the same plays. It's the most predictable offense in the NFL, bar none. So you got to do some different things here and mix it up more. This was another game that the offense was pretty boring, pretty bland. If it wasn't for Jalen Hurts figuring out a way to get him down the field a little bit and the one drive being because of a great catch by Quez Watkins off of a deflection, then... This game wouldn't have even been close if it wasn't for the Hurts two rushing touchdowns and the great play by Quez Watkins and the good job. Also, it wouldn't have been close scoring if it wasn't for Gregor drawing two good penalties as well on balls that could have been thrown a wee bit better. So, I think this is a game that was closer than it really should have been, honestly, where you didn't see the Bucs take advantage of things they did take advantage of when they played the Dolphins, for example, last week. So this is a game that the Eagles definitely stayed closer. They were able to battle a little bit to stay close in the end, but it still wasn't an impressive game in the end because you still almost gave up um, 
the 400 passing yards, and your third down efficiency was still 30%. So you definitely have to get better and still improve. There's a lot of things this team needs to improve on, particularly Nick Sirianni's play call. Jalen Hurts touch throws and deep throws. Now, again, I'll give him credit for, obviously, the rushing touchdowns and battling back. I like the fact that he's able to do that and find a way to keep it close. That shows that he's a good game manager, even when all is going wrong everywhere else. But he still needs to get better throwing. He still needs to get more consistent there. And Sirianni has to mix in not just these RPOs, but different runs with the quarterback like you see Baltimore do. They don't run the same crap all the time. That is what Nick Sirianni does. He runs the same crap all the time, mix it up a little bit. I hope to see more success in the playbook, him learning from this week when he did mix it up, the very little 2% of the time he did where we ran it up the middle a little bit and ran a couple different plays, that he did do that, it actually worked. So hopefully that transitions to him actually doing that more in the future. But this, again, was a game that only was a success in the aspect of being able to stay close in it somehow, some way, and the pick by Anthony Harris, and the fact that a little bit early on, in the first quarter, we were able to draw some pressure on Brady to draw him to get throws out early, but that drew away pretty quickly, and the defense as a whole didn't play that hot of a game until really they were able to keep them in in the second half at the end, and then they started playing better and doing a little bit better there, just as they did last week, but overall game, no, not really. So this team needs to show improvement still. We haven't seen a full game from this team whatsoever, so I'm still looking for improvement from this team, but... That has been the reaction to this week. I couldn't be, obviously, as loud since it's later. But that has been the reaction to the Eagles game, losing 28-22. to Somehow they were able to keep it that close against this Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. Still a very abysmal offensive week. And until the end, not a great defensive week either. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and hopefully our Eagles do better. Next week is going to be a long layoff, of course, since we had Thursday night football, which is probably a good thing for us at this point with the way and this team frustrates us. So subscribe down below if you enjoy the content. We're up above on the easy-to-use Professor Joe Widget. Go Birds! Fly Eagles Fly! Please bounce back next week.